Come to the devotional today, ready to receive. Expect that God is going to speak to you. Expect that he is going to say something that will not only encourage or challenge, but which will change you. Because God is love, and love is always moving us on to a better thing, wanting more for us than we have, following us, protecting us, surrounding us. Open up your soul today and let God see everything that is inside of you. All the joy and all the sorrow. May today not only be a day of head knowledge, nor heart feelings, but of spiritual awakening and a real, deep, connection with your Father. Ask the Holy Spirit to stir himself within you. Draw your mind on to God. Say to your mind, be still and know that he is God. John, in his first letter, chapter 4 and verse 16, says, God is love. 1 Peter, chapter 4 and verse 8, says, Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers a multitude of sins. Draw to your mind the sins which you find it hard to forget. Maybe these are your own sins. Things you have done which you regret so much. Perhaps these are sins of other people or even sins of people you don't know. Things that have happened, they've hurt you but you don't know who the perpetrator of that act truly was. Bring all three of these people before God now. Yourself, the known sinner, and the unknown sinner. Bring also your known sins and your unknown sins. Perhaps there's someone you know and they sin but they don't know it. Jesus said, Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Can you pray that prayer too? Can you pray, Father, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. Father, forgive me when I don't know what I'm doing. And what about the humble man who went into the temple when the Pharisee said, I have earned your forgiveness. I am righteous. Look what I do. The humble man said, Oh God, forgive me a sinner. Can you pray that prayer today? Forgive me. I am a sinner. About the sins you know about. Forgive them. They are sinners about the sins you know about of others. 
Peter said, above all, above everything, love each other deeply, deeply, deeply. God is love. He can fill us to the very core of our being if we allow him. He will tell us what we must discard. He will speak to us about our sin. He will gently and lovingly lead and guide us as we seek to follow him. Pray now and ask the Father to help you to feel and know and be filled with his love deeply, that you may above all love others, including yourself, the known sinner and the unknown sinner, deeply. Spend some time asking God to do this now. Because love covers a multitude of sins. Love covers a multitude of sins. Love, God is love. He covers a multitude, many, 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 many sins. You don't have too many sins for him to cover. They don't have too many sins for him to cover. His love can enable you to forgive yourself and others. His love will cover if you will lay down and allow him to do it. Will you let him do it? Ask God to forgive you for the times that you pull back the covers when he has covered sin. Ask God to forgive you and repent now of the time you have called, pulled back the covers and exposed the sin to other people that God has covered. Ask God to put a guard over your mouth, over your mind and over your heart, so that you will not pass on to others those things which he has covered. Ask him to forgive you. Ask him to see yourself, the known sinner and the unknown sinner, as he sees you, as he sees them, covered, covered, covered in his love. No, it is not fair. No, it is not right. No, it is not just. But oh, it is free, and oh, it is given, and oh, it is for you too. Ask the Father to cover you. Ask the Father to open your eyes to see where he has covered others. Ask the Father to help you cover others. We are to copy him. And his love covers a multitude of sins. Does yours? Can people trust you to cover their mistakes? Even their deliberate actions that they come and say sorry for and repent of? In copying Jesus, we are to forgive even when they don't say sorry. We are to listen to God and have wisdom in our relationships with people, especially those who would willingly seek to hurt us. But we are also to remember that nothing comes to us that he has not allowed, just the same as Jesus. Above all, love each other deeply. How deep? 
is the love you have for yourself. How deep is the love you have for others? God's love is so deep, it covers all sin. Not all will come to him, but if all did, all sin would be covered. That's how deep the Father's love is. God is love, never-ending, eternal love, given, not earned, never deserved, but free. And he wants to give it. And he wants me and you to be able to give it deeply, meaningfully. This can only happen when we have let him love us. Ask God to cover you and ask God to fill you to the very depth of your being and to teach you how to keep covered what he has covered, how to cover what he has covered. And in your mind, when it asks you to uncover a sin or a sinful nature of yours or anyone else's that he has covered, say to it, be still and know that he is God.